The proprietress gives you a sweet smile. You look like someone who's ready for business. You look like someone with an eye for the main chance. You look like someone who needs an investor. I knew it the moment you walked in here. Here comes an enterprising fellow, I said to myself. Here comes a man who could take a sum of gold and turn his mind to turning a profit. I can see it in your eyes. Whatever you're up to in the fine upstanding city of Arx, jewel of Lucian's blessed domain, I'd like to back you, financially speaking. But be warned, I demand security. You must make a deposit. And I always, always, always recover a debt. You Don't try telling me you just wandered in here by mistake. Cheap goods? Weirdos in the cellar chase me away. <laughs> you believe that? I don't. And I tried my best purring and my best meowing. I even did the slink thing against their legs. No luck.
I've been looking for Lothar. I suppose she can sense how close she is to him. Luckily for all of us, I've been busy. I know exactly what we need to do to get him out of Losa's head and into the palm of her hand. Shall I continue? Well, the prognosis is very good. I know of a way we can find your demon's home plane, the place he stores the souls he steals. If we can find it, we can destroy it. Losa inhales sharply. I'll read that as excitement, gratitude, battle lust. It's just, this is it. This is everything I've wanted. Finally, a chance to, to have a chance. That's the idea, at least. But we need to move quickly. The faster we can get in and out of there, the less chance there will be that a drama leak realizes we're there. So, are you ready? Yes. Yes, definitely. I think. So, team, ready to roll? Malady takes Losa's hands and closes her eyes. Stay near me, all of you. You don't want to get lost where we are going. You are suddenly heavy on your feet. The air here feels weighted with import and dread. All light within you feels suddenly dimmer. Here we are. Tread carefully, Losa. This place... it isn't safe. Losa looks at you nervously and smiles. I'm glad you're here. So, where should we start? That depends on what we find. We need to weaken your demon by freeing the souls he's trapped here. Exactly how he's storing them and what that will mean for us will be a surprise for both of us. I believe so, but we won't let that happen. You can say that again. The powerful ones do. Nothing they enjoy more than a private playground where no prying eyes can interfere with their fun. And before you ask, no, I don't have one. Even I have a modicum of decency, deep, deep down. You can, but that would close the portal for good. It isn't nothing for me to bring us here. It takes a great sacrifice. Don't waste it. pools at the candle's wick, though it grows brighter as you inspect it. A feeling comes over you. There's a soul within this flame, within the black wax that fuels it. Do you feel it, Losa? There's a soul within this candle. So, this is how your demon operates. He collects them here and feeds from them at his leisure. I feel it. It's the spirit of a woman. Prudence. The innkeeper in Driftwood. She made a deal with him, with a drama leak, and now she'll be trapped here forever. If the demon is feeding from her, we need to snuff the candle out. This is how we'll weaken him. Snuff her out? But that's like, like killing her. If I do that, I'm no better than a drama leak. Oh, please. He destroys people for the love of it. If we must do this, it's to save the thousands he'd feed on in future. That isn't true. I don't care about them. I mean, I do. But the only person I really care about is me. She reaches out and pinches the wick, snuffing out the fire. There. It's done. Let's... Let's keep moving. Good idea. He's alive. won't do.
shit. Candles glow with the light of the spirits housed by each. They reach toward Losa, eager to be heard. You know what you must do, Losa. There is no other way. Two people. Two souls. Two souls just like me. You're right. I owe them that. I owe them at least that. She holds her hand to the flame and seems to go into a trance. Two souls, so different. Two souls bound together by the demon. One, a humble man, a father. The other, a, a killer. The first, he understands. He wants me to destroy a drama leak. He's willing to, to be destroyed himself. The second is full of anger, of fury. He doesn't want to be sent into the darkness. I have no choice. If I want to survive him, I... I have to be... like him. I have to do this, it's the only way. Losa reaches out and twists the candle's wicks. They smoke and die. You're getting the hang of this. Very good. Not done yet, Losa. Expecting. The candles twinkle in the distance, each a life, each a soul. All these people, all these people, all these precious people. She stands silent, stock still. Malady suddenly grabs Losa's arm. She speaks through gritted teeth. We must stop him. This cannot continue. We can't let it. We need to free them, snuff them out. If a drama leak can't draw on their power, we'll be able to face him and finish him. I... I... But they're all like me. Every last one of them. How can I... How can I... Just say the word, Loser, and I'll summon a flood large enough to end this. All of this, once and for all. Losa looks out over the sea of candles for a long while, saying nothing. It's so quiet here. I don't feel him at all. Here we are, before the evidence of all his disgusting deeds, and my mind is clearer than it's been in a long time. It's funny, isn't it? How some pain is so big it just burns you clean from the inside out. It's almost like I could just step off the edge of this ledge and float away. There's nothing to me anymore. Nothing at all. Sorry. It's just so much. It's just so, so much. She takes your hand and looks out over the Sea of Souls once more. She leans against you, letting you support the smallest bit of her weight. Sometimes I think my fate was written from the beginning. I was never going to manage it. 
When someone that powerful wants something from you, they just take it. That's what they do. Only an idiot pretends they won't. She stiffens and stands upright, running her fingers through her hair. She smiles. Smirks, really. I guess that makes me an idiot. Malady, let's do it. With pleasure. Ah, perfect. Done. It's all done. All right. All right. That should do it. We need... We need to leave. Quickly. She pants and wipes her mouth. Blood smears across her sleeve. Losa is still and quiet, her eyes flashing grey, then black, then draining back to normal. The drama leak. He must be furious. We need to get her out of here. Now. Hurry. Having extinguished the flames in the demon's home plane and killed innocents in the process, Losa looks to her party, eyebrows raised. I had no choice. If I had left those souls alive, I, I stand no chance of defeating a drama leak. This is the only way forward. Many souls are lost, but many more will be saved thanks to you. There was no question about it. You had to weaken that vile demon. Well done. That was... that was amazing. He's scared. I feel it. Oh my gods, I feel it. This is it. Freedom. I can hardly remember what it tastes like. Time to find out, I guess. Let's get him, Chief. <laughs> 